Right, hello and welcome to episode 7 of Let's Play Alan Wake. Um, sorry about uh, muting the mic last time, no good. I'm taking a risk recording it as well because the wife is in, she's in the bedroom watching telly, but hopefully we won't get interrupted because there's no going back. Hopefully this carries on from where we left off. Exactly where we left off. Get in. Did not expect that, to be honest with you. Did not expect it at all. Capture cards working as well, which is another miracle in itself. But now the big question is, we found a way last time. Can we find it again? And how the... Are we out of breath again already? We need to find a way, but... First time, we kind of went back the way we came didn't we yeah it's this way yeah it is it's this way it's this way we've got it we've got it we've got it we're in control we are in control now I can't remember what killed us oh I do remember we were in that room weren't we and the geezer came in and somebody had me from behind he's gonna burst through Oh, there was a manuscript page there as well. Oh, there's quite, that's why we died, there's quite a few. Flashbang, but what choice have you got? The closed doors and curtains of his grimy room at the Majestic, the local motel. Nightingale could feel the locals' eyes on him. Oh, we've had that. We read that one. We did that one last episode. Okay, well we can't get out, so it's uh, we can pick that ammo up now, though, can't we? Yeah, and we've got four flares. But man, them flashbangs are so good. Another thermos. I still don't know what we get for that. Respect, I think, is all you get. Um, so we've got two ways we can go. No, we haven't. That's a false passageway. So we got this. I really ought to turn my light off, to be honest with you play in the dark but you wouldn't see my face if I did that I'd have to make my way up this mine shaft in order to go on maybe the machinery okay. can help me with that do you think This way, uh, uh, yeah, okay. So we take that now up to the next level up there, and then we use that ladder.
and that should take us to the button again will it yep so that we can then do the top one and get up to it by going back up the ladder simples anything to see any ammo or anything no okay surely we've got to be close to the end of the chapter you would think probably in about two seconds that would have been the ideal place to end the last episode but oh well, never mind up or down I imagine it was up Wasted my time. Not wasted my time, I've missed out now by not going doing the down probably. At the end of the day. Oh no, all that's up here is a manuscript, so maybe this was the way to go. Lightning flash behind the windows of Cauldron Lake Lodge. Tor Anderson laughed and held the steel hammer above his head. Nurse Sinclair was trying to calm him down without success. Tor grinned madly and shouted, My hammer's up. Here's a friendly poke from Mulnir, wench. He brought the hammer down with all his might on Sinclair's head. We're on a comeback tour, baby. Oh, is that the two old rockers? Oh, don't be mean to them, man. I ever done to anyone? So it was basically, it is down, but at least we've got that page, so that's all good. Just a town of rusty generators, isn't it? Not great. Flare gun. Just yeah. great. Who's knocking the trees down? Man, this is dodgy as. Stay clear of them. Uh, 
There's, yeah, there's no need, was there? Dropping a fucking train on me, Ed. No need to get all moody. There's literally no need. Just use me if you've got them. That's my new plan. You lose all your guns and ammo that often at the end of a level anyway. You might as well just use what you've got. Bridget is then. Oh man. What's fucking what's what's done that? Why can't we run across it? Right. Hey, do you want to pack that in? You and all? Holy shit. I'll just say flash it. Yes, I did. Oh my god, so much flare ammo. In fact, yeah, let's get it out and start using it. Oh, well, we ain't going that way. Oh, there's a page. Maud had checked all of Stucky's rental cabins. There had been no sign of the wakes. It was dark when he'd found their car parked at the end of the road by Cauldron Lake. It made no sense. They must have taken a wrong turn. But there was no sign of them, and the car had been there for hours already. Frustrated, Mott stood on the rotten ruin of the footbridge that had once led to Diver's Isle before it sank beneath the waves years ago. The boss wouldn't be happy. Oh, uh, where do we go then? Oh, okay. She was trying to jump up there, not kick that, so I was pressing the wrong button. Uh, do we need 
need to go in. Oh, that doesn't go in. Okay. Uh, that might go in. Yep, so that's it then. You talk to me on TV, Tom. CWTZ. I miss you, Tom. Tom Zane and Tom, 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 Tom. I curse you, Thomas Zane. I miss you, Tom. Did you write this? Um, CW. I thought it was Barbara. Or is that the? Oh, we shall listen to what Barry said now. The woman that said, "Don't go in there in the diner." Was she CW? I think she was. I'm sure it'll all get explained at the end anyway. You wouldn't think I'd play this before, would you? But like I said, 360 days. Uh, I've been to bed a lot. A lot of time since then. And I ain't got the best of memories at the best of times. Oh, excuse me. I do try not to yawn on here. It's unprofessional. Oh, number one, I'm not a professional. And number two, fucking tired. Whoa, 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 whoa. Have that. I saw ya. Yeah, baby. So let me go back around there and get that flask now, does it? Yep. No, well, we're not jumping off there. So, yeah, so it's just this way. Down this path. How far is this mirror peak? Look out, Jesus Christ. I could Christ. see Cauldron Lake. I thought I could make out the spot where the island and the cabin had been. There was a light near it. It had to be a boat. I was close now. I had to get there fast. I dreaded what I would find. Both got sucked off.
are we going to get out of this one? Oh, that's going to be the end of the episode, look. I mean, I'm gonna have to skip the music, cause otherwise it just gets me Please stuck off. So. Now and wake. I'm hunted by the law. Sheriff, wake's running. I'm giving chase. Are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported no. kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. Alan, shh, baby. It was just a nightmare. Alice. There you go, Alan. Hartman, I fell. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you lie. You're suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. <sighs> oh, no, I ain't got a clue what's it's happening. Okay, Alan. Just let go. go. If this is all a dream at the end, I'm gonna be. I mean, even though I've played it before, and I still can't remember. The only thing I remember is a bit with the stage. I felt groggy. Which will come to in time. Whatever Hartman had put in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else, someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think couldn't focus the door was locked i was a prisoner here what the but how would you fish me out the drink how would you know to be in there so Good evening, it just seemed a bit sus are we feeling better now feeling calm knock him in the yeah i see you brought your pet Punch him in the face you. so sure i'm calm i get the message loud and clear Quite right. That's the spirit. You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. Okay, so a couple of sus things, or either sus, or lazy, or just the limitations of uh, hardware and software at the time. Um, if I was in the water, you put me to bed in my wet clothes, how did you get that drip in my arm? Oh, I suppose you could have got it in my hand, I suppose. Uh, if you've never even took my jacket off, why have you put me to bed in a hoodie... Uh, another jacket thing shirt thing and my jacket i mean and my shoes i don't even get no gym jams or nothing so it all this seems a bit sus or... most of them aren't here right now jack took them out for a fishing trip except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable of course i encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at cauldron lake lodge I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. Mm. This way, Alan. It all seems to be so. I don't know. Is it so so? Now the grill is gone. Knock him out. Alan, from past experience. Knock him out. I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations. 
paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying, but under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic. To be fair, he's got a point. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. Never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now, we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. All, Hartman obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, I dug my nails into the palms myself. of my hands to stay focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Come along. Let's go inside. Now here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. It's not. Yeah. Scary, scary, need, scary, scary. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, you crackpot. I'm a real bad his neck? dream, mister. You should be afraid of Jesus. me. You don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, oh, Emerson. Gideon. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. That's Emerson. We're actually making Gideon. some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video games. Ooh, yeah. It's ah, trash, yeah. of course, but yeah. it does I'll involve some small yeah. creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic huh. methods. Funny. No kidding. It's like Gideon the Duck. Oh my god. Tell me how this place is somewhere where you can get better. Your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. <sighs> My rheumatism is killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh, 
What a storm! I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And Amazing. these two are the Anderson brothers. Odin and Tor. They had a... How should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They are well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. No, oh, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short for now, Alan. The power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? I see that broken nose, G. I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Zane! You're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we need to forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. My head was... Zane could feel the poems, taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He, too, had a way with words. Clearing up. Or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Yeah, good thing he's not overreacting or anything. Well, he's the boss. I may need a hand here later on, Birch. The storm's bound to make you know jumpy. You know how they I'm not myself. Gotcha. It's hard Stop to think. There's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. Hey, it's been wake me. Why don't you, you humor Dr. Hartman once. and give the right to shot, huh? Come true. Typewriter's in your room. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do it now. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, wake! You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Hartman kept talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. 
The man smiled and clapped a practiced hand on Barry's shoulder. Ah, oh, Barry to the rescue. Pray to the crazy brothers, are ya? Not so weak now, are we? Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. Well, the crazy old fart hit her hard. Fast, if she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I could get the key to the office wing from Sinclair. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd be keeping them. I'm taking it! We're on a comeback tour, baby! Is it there with a proper armor? Glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Where are you gonna put? Alan, please. You're sliding back Shh, into the Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea. Hartman, what... shut up. Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just. Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful. No, I got a clue what's going on there. Oh, that warned me. Hartman followed the fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars. When the rider hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning, even in the water. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking, something the Anderson brothers would no doubt have enjoyed. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally within his reach. Why then? I needed light to get the possessed bookshelves out of my way. Where are we going to get that from? Donut. He had no ambitions on that front, and he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here. 
damaged in ways that were hard to describe, or worse. It was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction, to be a producer. That was what most of these people were in need of anyway. Of course, suitable subjects were few and far in between. Step out. Run. It's gonna come back. Oh my god, he's so slow. I mean, he's absolutely slow as That's it. Now come on, smash this door over here. Thanks. Your whelks. Hey, come on. Gotta get going. Yeah. Wait, I'm gonna get this flask. I don't know why. The game wants me to collect them. I know where you are, Barry, but, you know, pages and thing. Oh my god, I'm sick of you being out of breath. I hope they've got rid of that in, in the Alan White 2, I'm telling you. I found the car, but the gate's locked. You're going to have to go through the hedge maze over there. Barry, oh, well, I don't thanks have a for light. nothing. Take this, Al. Oh god! the right side of the gate. Oh great a maze. I mean right and then left and then left. Mate, shut up with you. And then right Viking paraphernalia that littered the area surrounding an unlikely centerpiece. A full side stage complete with an impressive sound system with all the trimmings, including a dragon. It took a special kind of crazy to build something like this in a remote field. When the sky split open with a deafening boom and the music started blasting, it felt strangely appropriate. So that's that stage I was on about. That must be the Anderson's farm. shit because we got one bullet we don't want 
we're fighting it makes people feel bad. You get two barrels in the morning, and then you'll be nice and cold. No, give over. Beat this bloke and then we'll call it the end of the episode, I think. So rubbish. We're anywhere near the batteries we need. Everything's Oh, don't believe that, man. I've killed him and then the birds have got me. Come on. Oh, my days. Two pills, two pills in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
I thought I'd cut you out. Batteries left. Let's at least get to the garden and then we'll call it a day. Because how long is that? Oh, yeah, 50 minutes. Yeah, we need to definitely call it a day. Jesus. Talk about carried away. We'll do it in here, I think. Right, and yeah, we're going to call it a day there. Um, It's not the best place, but we've got. Oh, no, go on. We'll push to the garden. Oh, we didn't look at that page. Mott knew that Wake was smarter than him. Wake had more money, a beautiful wife, everything. And Hartman said Wake was important. That made him better than Mott. But Mott was calling the shots now. He'd expected Wake to whimper and grovel, but instead, he seemed willing to fight. Mott knew he'd gotten under Wake's skin. If only Mott actually had his wife. The thought made him shiver. Thought to sort. Oh, my God, I missed, but I've got the court one by accident. accidentally use that flare. You got to be kidding me. Which you could have done for that wheelbarrow. Uh, right, we are we are gonna call that the end of the episode because it's an hour. Come on. This is getting too long. So that was episode seven. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and until next time, try a bit.